All right, quick lesson on 15% rule. This one's super easy. All right, what is the 15% rule? Basically, it's saying if you change the KVP by 15%, it has the same effect as doubling the mass or reducing the mass by half. Um, so here's an example. If you increase the KVP from 82 to 94, which is a 15% increase, um, that'll produce the same exposure to the image receptor as if you increase the MAS from 10 to 20, right? As if you doubled the MAS. So increasing the KVP by 50% increases the IR exposure to the IR, unless you decrease the MAS to kind of counteract it. And reverse, decreasing the KVP by 15% um, will decrease the exposure unless the MAS is changed. And so the effects of changing the KVP, they're not the same across all sort of ranges of KVP as what you have for options. Um, so either when low or higher, you use the amount of KVP required to maintain, maybe greater or less than 15%. It's not an exact um, rule, okay? So don't um, make it so black and white. When would we ever use this in real life, right? I feel like it's like school when you're learning math in school or geometry or whatever it was, you're like, when will I use this? Um, so here's an example of when you'd actually use it as a technologist. A uh, scout abdomen radiograph was performed on a patient prior to their upper GI exam. The technologist used 20 mass at 80 to expose them, and it was a good picture. It was a good radiograph. All right, the patient successfully comp completes the upper GI, and the radiologist says, I would like a post-procedure um, AP stomach. What technique will you use? How do you figure that out? So for us, any barium work is done at 110 kVp. So some machines might vary. Some will say 109. Um, some people go up to like 120. It depends on what you're using. But our original exposure, so our KUB with no barium, was 20 mass at 80. Post upper GI, we have to increase our kVp up to 110. Why? Because we have barium, and we have to penetrate that. So is increasing 80 kVp up to 110, is that increasing by at least 15%? Well, we have to figure that out first. We have to say yes or no. So here's some options. How do you figure out 15%? Option one, you can multiply 80 by 0.15. That gives you 15%, um, which is 12. You're simply going to add that number to your original number. So add 12 to 80, that gives you 92. So we went from 80 um, up to 92. So yes, that proves our answer. Yes, we went up by 15%. Say you don't have a calculator, and most of you aren't going to have a calculator in the moment or at clinical or wherever you are, or maybe you do. Maybe you've got the clinical um, calculator on your watch or something. Um, but here's just an e another way if you don't have a calculator or if you're ever at a restaurant and need to figure out 15%. <laughs> You start by finding 10% and you just move the decimal over. So if you move the decimal over one point for 80, that's eight. Divide eight and a half, that gives you four. Add the two together. Eight plus four is 12. Add 12 to 80, gives you 92. So just another way um, to be able to figure that out, some options. Do what works for you. Okay, so if we've increased our KVP by 15%, we have to half our mass so we don't double expose. So we have to increase our KVP from 80 to 110. This is an increase by at least 15%. So to make sure we're not double exposing or increasing our exposure by double, we're actually gonna cut our mass in half. So instead of using the 20, we're gonna use 10. So instead of 20 at 80, we're gonna use 10 at 110 for our AP stomach with barium for the upper GI, if that makes sense. So increase KVP by 15% half your mass. And we're not looking for exact numbers here. Okay, and just remember each machine is different. So you might not have 10. Your number might be an 11 or a 9. And you've got to use kind of what's closest to your 15%. Um, what if you, what if the KVP decreases by 15%? So it's going to be opposite. You're simply going to double your mass. Um, here's an example that probably won't ever happen in your lifetime, but here's an example. An original C-spine exposure was made at 13 mass at 96 kBP. Radiologist feels like it's a sucky image. He doesn't like it. 
He wants you to decrease your KVP. The new exposure has to be made using 80 KVP. Determine the new mass. Would this ever happen in real life? Probably not. Stay with me, okay? Is a reduction from 96 KVP to 80 at least 15%? If you can't figure that out quickly, here's your two options again. So you can multiply by that 0.15, gives you 14.4. This time you're gonna subtract the 14.4 because that we decreased our KVP, so now you gotta subtract. Um, or you can move the decimal point. With this one with the decimal point, because it's a 96, um, it gives you some decimal points. So if you want, just round, right? It gets us close to 85. Whichever you use, simply we have to figure out, was this change at least 15%? Yeah, yeah it was. So all we're gonna do is decrease KVP by 15%. We're gonna double our mass. So the original exposure was 13 at 96. We had to decrease our KVP to 80. So what we have to do now is double our mass to match that. Okay, so just watch out for those. All right, here's another example. A lateral cervical spine radiograph was produced using 32 mass at 80, at 180 centimeters. The C7, T1 area is not penetrated well. The image has to be repeated. The KVP is being increased to 92. What new mass should be used to maintain the original exposure? What is this question asking me? It's asking me to find the new mass. It's asking me to figure out what happens when I change from 80 to 92 KVP? Which way should my number go? So it's asking me about a new mass. So when I'm increasing my KVP at least 15%, I want to half my mass. So let's go to the next page and we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it here. So I highlighted a few things. The original mass was 32. Original KVP was 80. My KVP is being changed to 92 and I need a new mass. And anytime I see this term maintain the original exposure, I'm going, okay, it's a change in KVP, maintain original exposure, I'm going 15% rule. So what is this question asking me? I need a new mass with a change in KVP. Which formula? We're gonna use 15% rule. In case you didn't figure that out, this is the 15% rule video. Um, is an increase from 80 KVP to 92 at least 15%? Yes, it is. If you've got to add, if you want to add it up, that's exactly 15%. Which way should my number go? My number's got to go down, right? So if I increase my KVP by 15%, that will double the dose if the mass is left the same. If I leave my mass at 32 and still change to 92 KVP, I'm doubling that dose. So what do I have to do? I have to cut the 32 in half, so that gives me 16. So my new exposure will be 16 mass at 92. This will help penetrate the C7T1 area between the shoulders and get me a better quality image. All right, 15% rule roundup. Look for some keywords. Look for the maintain original exposure. And just remember, increasing KVP by 15% will actually double the dose if you leave your mass the same. So that's why we have to half the mass to kind of counteract that change. And decreases the opposite. If you decrease by 15%, you have to double the mass. So it has to be by at least 15%, and it might not be exact. So like our question was asking us going from 80 to 92, but the option was say 94, that is at least by 15%. So don't get stuck on exacts, okay? And this was just a quick cheater picture um, for anybody that was interested. All right, hope that was helpful.